So my name is Patrick Moorhead. I'm the Vice President of Interactive at Draft FCB. I think the biggest challenge facing the whole space is awareness within advertising and media communities. I'm surprised to see that even this year with as big as the show has gotten, there's only a handful of us agency people here. And I think it's really, the, those of us that are here are kind of enthusiastic about it and early adopters. Uh, but the, the missing link, it seems to me, in the ecosystem is the connection with agency buyers who ultimately have access to the client money that I think many of the businesses are expecting to see as revenue uh, from major brand advertisers. And I think until advertising agencies uh, are aware of the signage and out of home business, and until this industry starts to reach out aggressively to uh, big advertising agencies, then uh, it's not going to move nearly as quickly as it could. I think it has to be uh, some advocacy work. I think it has to be um, kind of outgrowing the the idea that this show and this industry is about hardware and technology, that it's really got to be about solutions. It's got to be about people and connecting with consumers. And the technology is just a, a tool. Uh, the screen and the mount and the film are all uh, picks and shovels, if you will, in the process of, of reaching a goal. And uh, I think the industry, the next place that the industry grows up to, uh, if it's a teenager right now, a young adult uh, version of this industry is really connecting with uh, the story around why place-based media matters to consumers and why it can be effective and why brands and agencies should care about it. Uh, vertical markets that offer growth opportunities. Again, I think it depends on what lens you're using to, to talk about, right? So for hardware manufacturers and systems providers, I think it's still, the opportunity is still in uh, quick serve restaurants, it's in hospitality, it's in community meeting places like campuses and churches and uh, that side of the business, you know, needs to clearly focus on places where people go to see the screens. Um, from an advertiser, and marketing point of view, I think the industries that have the most to gain are retailers, right? So uh, companies like Kmart, where there's a store that needs, uh, you know, that, that, that retailer needs people to visit the store. And it seems that the advertising opportunity with screen, with out of home screens is a good way to, to let people know about the store, remind them about the store, drive product awareness and things like that. Uh, I think quick serve restaurants have a lot to gain from this media as well, in terms of, again, in terms of advertising dollars. Uh, probably not so much automotive, it seems to me. I don't see someone making a decision about buying a car based on seeing an ad on, a, on the side of a bus or, you know, in the, in the food court at the mall. Uh, more so, so, you know, the food court at the mall is a good example. The Panda Express, with an ad in the food court, can realize an immediate value from that versus an auto manufacturer, there's a long way to go between that ad impression and the, and the purchase decision. Behind the scenes, I think targeting platforms that can deliver different messages to different screens based on where the screen is, what time of day it is, what type of people typically are around that screen, uh, I think that has a ton of, uh, a ton of value and there's several solutions on the floor that are starting to get there in terms of targeting messages and kind of dynamic content, I guess. Um, on the hardware side, you know, I think everyone's real excited about 3D TV and there was a lot of said about that at CES. I've seen some different booths around the show floor that have kind of 3D solutions. I think that's really kind of an exciting next step uh, in terms of the, the hardware. And eye tracking, I, I remember coming a couple years ago and seeing you know, one company maybe, or two companies that had gaze tracking, facial recognition software, and now there's five or six. Uh, so that, that kind of technology is really cool from an accountability point of view of knowing how many people are looking at the screen for how long and who, who they are. Uh, obviously this year is bigger and better than ever. It's amazing to see the growth. Uh, it's amazing to see the audience continuing to grow beyond, I think, the kind of hardware networks place where it started. Um, still would like to see more agency people in the mix. Um, you know, there's a handful of people here, but uh, 
so I think that's a growth area for the show is, you know, how do we get to that next level where we're, we're, ta we're really folding in the agency people as, as part of the conversation. But, you know, from the Navy Pier Hall, you know, three or four years ago in Chicago to, to see how big this is this year is really exciting. Digital signage, join the revolution.